welcome to my next vlog. Today I'm going to be taking on the Free Islands Fishery. It's in Leighton Buzzard. It's a private fishery. It's uh, located on a farm. The fish stock's about 2,000 carp, up to £27. I'm going to give you more information as the vlog goes on. We've got a little bit of a mission in front of us. We've got a special guest and cameraman today. Maps live. We're ready to go. <laughs> we are ready to go, so it's time to hit the road and see if we can't catch some carp. You ready? Yes, bro. Let's go. Okay, we are here. What we've got to do is just drive through okay, the farm. Turn. There is a little bit where you pay before you go to the lake. I will quickly show you that. But as you can tell, I'm getting a little bit excited. Let's try to catch some carp. Just fill out your details on here. You put the money in, it's £12 for a ticket. Yeah, and what you do, there's a little safe inside. You put oh, yeah. your money inside, everyone's happy, you drive on down to the lake, pick your swim. <laughs> okay, so we've arrived at the lake. Uh, as you can see, there is a couple of cars and anglers here. So our plan today is we're going to have a quick walk round to see where we're going to set up and see what tactics we're going to go down. So uh, are you ready for a quick walk round the lake? Of course. Right, let's do it. What do you say? Just way up the top there, but where? That's an absolute brilliant sign. So uh, what we have actually done today, we've brought 16 loaves of bread. Because of the amount of fish that is stocked in the lake, we would really like, oh yeah, we would really like to uh, catch some carp on floating bread. Ah oh, yes, I can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But that is a brilliant, brilliant sign. walk around the lake and local knowledge is everything we've run into a really happy angler and uh yeah he's fishing today so um yeah you can tell us anything about the lake mate yeah i mean the lake here is good fishing i mean my, my uh, grandson's had uh, the biggest fish here he's had is 14 and a half pounder 14 and a half pounds nice. yeah yes and there good is size. one here they call i think they call the colonel the colonel about 25 pounds oh wow oh, nice. that's brilliant pounds. mate 25 pounds so, yeah, my, my biggest one's been about 10 pounds 10 yeah still good size yeah. though but I've, I've been here and i've had 10 8 7 pounds you know one day yeah. i caught about 22. yeah cool but, you know between six and ten pounds Wow, you caught 22 fish in a day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well yeah, in, mate. That's a bit of top angling. Fishing, I tell you. Yeah, if, you man. if you come here and don't catch a fish, you're a bad fisherman. Put it that way. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> He's put us right on the spot now. <laughs> so so uh, I'm looking for the colonel. <laughs> and I'm just trying to catch a fish. <laughs> so <laughs> thank uh, you very much, mate. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. What's and your name? Uh, uh, my name's Richard. Richard. Yeah. Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. yep. Really nice to meet nice you, mate. And you, all the best. <laughs> Cheers, oh, mate. Good, good luck, luck today. Hopefully, yeah. mate, especially after that little prep talk. <laughs> yeah. right, cheers, good mate. Luck. See you later. Good luck. Bye. Take care. So, from an observational point, this clear water don't have too much action. I think all the action, like I said that, there's a little action, not too much. But all the action is over there in the cloudy, mucky water. Let's get to it. Yeah, so we're gonna head over there to uh, where well, we've spotted them already. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search for you, stay lost. We are, we are reaching for the 
So uh, this can be base camp for today. We've uh, got a net and mat set up along the bank. We have already introduced loads of bread. And I'm very excited because as we were setting up, we could hear the slurping noise and slurping away. So uh, yeah, now's time just to go and have a proper look to uh, see if they're there. Tactics for the day. My favourite style of fishing. It couldn't be more simple. Hook tied straight to the main line. Squeeze on a bit of bread and you are fishing. Take it fast. Good, the swan's off. Oh, and after all of that, he missed the take. I reckon it's a big one. Skinny, a lively mirror. Here we go, first catch of the day. It's a nice little mirror, not bad. Probably about nine, say, ten pound. Good two pounder. <laughs> no, about nine, <laughs> ten pound uh, caught on a bit of floating bread. And for autumn, that's absolutely brilliant. Off the mark, well done. Happy with that, not bad. Right, right my turn now, back, mate. <laughs> Do a live can put me in a box. I redefine any definition you got. I am the tiger, I'm making steps to the top. The flames are whipped up, you just gotta hand me the rock. Take a seat, you cannot stand it. All I know the flow hotter than a scotch bunny. Don't try to study me, you cannot manage. This ain't what you want, bitch, I'm a fucking phenomenon. I'm grabbing the camera because of. I've managed to get them feeding really, really close in. Now this is a fishing that we wanted to do. There was a ghosty in the swim, there was a koi in the swim, there was a bigger carp that looked about 17, 18 pound. You win some, you lose some. Time to get run back out there. Got it. Okay, so it's not the koi that we're after, but right now I will take anything. <laughs> Some 
<laughs> oh no I feel actually so relieved to have landed that um, my friend's come down to be the cameraman he's already landed two I've already pulled the hook out of about 10 carps mouths so uh, yeah I feel a little bit more relieved now okay yeah. so here we go first one of the session caught on a little bit of floating bread about a metre or so off of the bank. She's full of energy, because how close in I caught her. Here we go. Check that one out. She's not massive, but I'm really happy to land this one. It's the first of the day for me. Yeah, let's hope there's more to come. Now I'd landed a carp, I was feeling a lot happier, the carp was feeding confidently in my swim, so I piled in the bread so I could try and pick out the carp I wanted to land. I'll tell you something, <laughs> today has been absolutely awesome, it's been loads of fun, we've seen loads of carp, we've missed loads of carp, like, we've had so many feeding right in front of me, people might laugh about the amount of bread we've put out, 
but whoa, when you see him coming up one after another, scoop, scoop, slurp, slurp. Fish number two of the day for me, carp number four of the day for both of us. And it was very tricky, but I actually got the koi that I was trying to catch. There was loads of them all mooching about, and I pretty much put the bread in his mouth. Check that one out. She's not massive, she's not everybody's cup of tea, but she's made my day. Got about an hour left of the session. I really hope I can land another one, but even if I don't, this one still made my day. Yes! catch one while the drone was in the air so I'm quite chuffed with that. Number three of the Number day. Number three of the day so uh, quite happy. And you wouldn't really think it that uh, floating bread in autumn when it's raining is the one but <laughs> there yeah. you go proofs I'm in the pudding. I'm freezing as you can see how I'm dressed but uh, the fish are still feeding so happy days. Happy days mate. Let's slip this one back. Right we'll put her back. Oh, very quick, she's gone back. Very happy, and how happy are you? Very happy. Very happy. Uno. Number three. Trez. Trez. <laughs> Uno. hammering it down so we have actually just taken cover into uh, the bivy whoa whoa so uh, the plan is I'm actually gonna go out there in a second and uh, try and catch a carp on floating bread in autumn in the rain a foot off the margins so uh, what's the odds <laughs> what is the odds left so much bread here at the moment just so we can see each one coming up and I'm going to try and put it in their mouth for
Right, so I'm not sure just what happened with the camera, but I hope we caught that footage. I've got a common in a net. It wasn't the ghosty that I was after. She did come up a couple of times. She knocked my bread. She was really spooky, but none of it matters. We've got a common in the net. We've just landed a carp on floating bread in autumn in the pouring down rain and we're having loads of fun and that's all that matters. So I'm going to get this one out and uh, give you a little look. So here we go, I'm on to carp number three of the session. This might actually be my last carp. We've been here for about three hours now. We've landed uh, three carp each. We've had loads of fun. Whoa, all of the carp have been proper lively. Right, one more show. Yeah, there you go. Big up three islands. It's been loads of fun. Definitely looking forward to my next session down there. I'm not sure when it might be, but yeah, a good little fishery. Right, I'm gonna slip this one back, and uh, yeah, it's time to pack away. Who I like can put me in a box. I redefine any definition you got. I am a tiger, I'm making steps to the top. The flames are ripping up, you just gotta hand me the rock. Take a seat, you cannot stand it. While I know the flow. Yeah, so how was your day? Well, I had a couple of uh, nothing brilliant. How many did you land? Uh, seven in the end. Seven? Oh, that's oh, fantastic, man. I was only about four and a half pounds. Yeah? Yeah, it was. Oh, that's all right. Brilliant. How many hours do you think you was here? Um, I've been here since uh, nine. Nine, nine this morning? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool man. Yeah, yeah well done. I, yeah, uh, we landed three each. Yeah. So yeah, oh. it was all right. I think the biggest was probably about nine, ten pounds. Oh, yeah. that's not bad then. Yeah, nice so. Mirror. Yeah. Nice I've mirror. had better days here, but you know, it's, it's a hit and miss. You can't always guarantee What day. What did you think of the weather? Was it well, ideal weather for it? Perfect conditions? Rain, rain doesn't bother me. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant yeah. mate. I just, uh, I've, done, I've just had enough today. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good days and bad days, isn't it? Yeah, it's good days. Anyway, listen, right. enjoy the rest of your day. I will do, mate. All the best. All right, thank you, mate. Take nice care. one. Cheers. Okay, so that really is it for today's fishing. We've both landed three each. Uh, the weather's wasn't ideal for floating bread, but we still had loads of fun. My reviews on the lake, yeah, it's pretty good. You're left alone. Uh, there's loads of pegs around the lake. The anglers we met, they were just really friendly. So uh, what was your reviews on the lake? Oh, it's a good day's fish. I liked it. A lot of action, but um, I'm not going to lie, they're trickier to land than they look. Yeah, to be fair. They keep bashing the bread to pieces and... Uh, knocking it off the hook before they'll take the bread so uh if you have any of your line in the water they spooked off it straight away it looked really really easy but it really wasn't but it definitely yeah. wasn't easy so but, yeah uh, nice few fish happy with that hey, listen this one don't count we've already ended the video <laughs> The cameraman's not having it. He says he's not a cameraman. He is the fisherman. Whoa, that looks the right size actually, mate. Oh, go on, brother. That's probably yeah. the biggest one of the day. And imagine that, it doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun fishing on the way on the pack up, but uh, fuck it, I'll be tough for that. But go Show on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a competition or anything. The scores did end free free. <laughs> <laughs> but fair play to him. I was packing away, he said, Oh, I can see him slurp, I'm gonna have one more go. He had another go and he uh Yeah, it got a nice common in the net. Well done mate. Um yeah. Let's uh, get her out and have a look. It had to be unloaded for this one. All right, let's get her out and have a look. All right, so as we was packing away, I thought it'd be sneaky and slip the rod in. And that, I've got a nice little result. Happy with that one, biggest of the day. So uh, a bit disappointed it didn't come out earlier, but 
Hat piece is here now. Biggest of the day. When I was packing away, it was after the spotlight and he got it. Well done, mate. You might as well tell him to subscribe to my YouTube channel and end yeah, the video, don't mate. Don't forget to subscribe or uh, <laughs> you get bad luck. <laughs> well in, mate. <clears throat> Cheers. Absolute brilliant oh, day at Free man, Island. The slipper bats is heavy. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to put this one back because I've got waders on and we've already put the sling back. So to make sure she goes back safely, big up Skinny, big up Free Islands. Good little Thank fishery. You, Mr. There you go. Now it's really time to go home. <laughs> Peace be the journey. Productions, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pennell Productions, you've officially been cartfishing with Richard Pennell, big up.